Hello my lovelies, welcome to my new subscribers. Today I will be taking you guys through um, a beetroot smoothie. How to make a beetroot smoothie. Beets are good for your health and your skin. In short, everything inside the smoothie is healthy for you. For example, pineapple, we have pineapple. Some of the ingredients are pineapple, which is great for inflammation on your skin. Carrots, great for your eyes. And apple, you know what they say? Apples, you know what they say? Apples, uh, an apple a day keeps you away from the doctor. So stay tuned, guys. Inside here, we have some beetroot. This smoothie is kid-friendly, adult-friendly, grandparent-friendly, and even great-great-great-grandparent-friendly. Yeah. So... Right now, inside here, we have some beets. Please, if you don't trust the blades of your blender, instead of spoiling the blender, because beetroot is quite hard, please shred, uh, shred the beetroot before putting it in your blender. Yep. Blend it for some seconds because we want it to be smooth. Yeah, the carrots are quite soft, so I can go ahead and add it like that. Apple, which keeps the doctor away, add in. And some pineapple, which... And don't be afraid, like, I know an apple stem enter. Don't be afraid to put the apple stem. I do not call my apples. It's great to put um, an entire apple. Seeds are also beneficial for your health. So, and here you go with some pineapple. Which hits the right spot and takes you straight to vacation. Yeah. Depending on how much of a sweet tooth you are, please feel free to go. I do not put so now, please. I would like to add that you should be very careful with the beetroot because it stains a lot. It stains a lot, but you shouldn't be afraid to have some beetroot, include some beetroot in your diet. Seriously, it's very beneficial for your body and your skin. You see this glow? It's from beetroot as well. It's from beetroot as well. Beetroot also contributed. So... So now we've added, we've blended um, the mixture and it is smoothie consume, um, consumable but i'm going to add some mixture of seeds i've been i've been seeing people say add protein powder add, pro, add protein powder i do not have protein powder and i do not trust protein powder please to lose weight you have to you um consume more of protein but don't ignore the other the other um classes of food like carbohydrates please carbohydrates are so sinful we all love them include some carbohydrates in your recipe as well so yeah i made my own protein powder from um, a blend of seeds which are pumpkin seeds sesame seeds flax seeds hemp seeds you name them so please make sure you add some protein powder if you don't have protein powder <laughs> this is my own protein powder i trust what is inside and i made it myself but if you don't have some protein powder please feel free and ignore it as I said, this smoothie is great for great skin, good health, and for those who want to lose weight, those who want to lose weight as well. So I'm just going to give it the last blend. And we have ourselves a smoothie. I'm going to pour it. Yep ready to go if you like your smoothies fresh you can pop it uh, into the fridge that's okay now the real magic starts here so i'm about to bake a cake and yes you heard me right bake a cake every like who doesn't love cakes i love cakes in particular when i'm being when i was prevented from eating cake because of some health reasons it was i could it was as if i could go crazy but now I found a healthier way to make a cake. Yeah, we have oatmeal and still I'm going to add some of my protein powder. You can't have enough of protein powder. You can't have enough of protein. Please include it in your meals. Add some cacao. And 
just here some baking soda please go light on it if not your cake will rise above the bowl yes and i'm going to bake in a bowl it will rise above the bowl then you can still make use of your you can still make use of your beetroot smoothie please include fruits and vegetables in anything you do in order for your baking for your cake to rise please you need to add some apple cider vinegar will act as a reacting agent with the baking soda so however i'm going to add some water before and mix it well and now i can add some apple cider vinegar Oop. again as i said please go with your flow listen to your ancestors let them speak through you i'm going to add some honey no sugar still not consuming sugar it's very addictive so Some vanilla extract, just a little bit. And some olive oil, so the cake doesn't get burnt. Good, and I'm just going to mix this up. Depending on how much of a sweet tooth you are, please, you can add more honey. So after mixing it, it wouldn't be me if I don't add more chocolate. Like, we, need, we all need chocolate in our lives and it's a Sunday. So I'm just going to break this up so you can have surprises whenever you... Take a fork. Yep. I think that's enough. Please, I use dark chocolate. It's healthier. So feel free to have at least one bar or two tab bars or three of chocolate. It's healthier. Please, I added some more chocolate. And don't bother if you don't have an oven, you can still bake in a microwave. Normally it goes for 7 minutes, but I'm just going to put it for 11 minutes. I know that's extra, so stay tuned, guys. So I just took the cake out of the oven slash microwave. So if you don't have an oven please don't be discouraged you can still um, make your cakes in your microwave thank god to technology so you can either decide to have a beetroot smoothie for breakfast or a beetroot carrot cake for breakfast or you can decide to have both you can decide to have both so guys thank you for watching <laughs> spread love and positivity and please share my channel subscribe like my videos and also i wanted to tell you guys that i will be posting twice a week on tuesday and thursday so stay tuned guys and help my channel grow have a nice day bye